This is Stephanie from statisticshowto.com and in this video I will show you how to make a relative frequency histogram. I have a frequency table here. If you have a list of numbers from your data set, you're going to want to make a frequency chart first. I should also note that I'm going to show you how to make a relative frequency histogram by hand. You can also use technology like Excel to make a histogram. If you'd prefer to go the technology route, then follow the link showing on screen for the video on how to make a histogram in Excel. But the first step in making one by hand is to add up all of the items in your data set. So if I add all of my items for this set, I get 300. Next, because I'm making a relative frequency histogram, I want to figure out the relative frequency of each set of items. The way I do that is I divide the number of items in the set by the total. So I'm going to go down the column, just dividing by 300. So I have my relative frequencies, that is what I need to make the histogram. The next step is actually drawing the histogram. I'm going to make my y-axis first. On the y-axis we're going to put our percentages, that's our relative frequency. The lowest is 10 and the highest is 40. So I'm going to start here at 0.1. I'm going to go all the way up to 0.4 or 40 percent. So this is our relative frequency. And on the x-axis, I'm going to put my bins. Now bins are just categories. Uh, you can think of them as bins that you put data into, like you're sorting numbers and you're putting them into bins. Because I've already drawn a relative frequency table here, my data is already sorted into bins of four. So I'm just going to draw these categories down here. Five to ten dollars, eleven to fifteen, sixteen to twenty, 21 to 25. Finally, I want to draw my bars. I need to make sure my bars are touching. That's tradition with histograms to make sure you have touching bars. My first category is 5 to 10 dollars and that's going to go up to 0.25. For the second category it's 0 0.40. Then we have 0.25 again. And finally 0.10. That's how to make a relative frequency histogram. Check us out at statisticshowto.com for more videos and articles on everything elementary statistics.